I often get asked about tomatoes. You know, every year I get an abundance of tomatoes. And in actual fact, I do very little to get that. Hi, I'm Maura Gamble from Our Permaculture Life and the Permaculture Education Institute. And I wanted to tell you the way I grow tomatoes. And I'm so glad that they're coming back on now because this is my uh, collection from last year. This is all I've got left in the freezer from last year's. Uh, so I, what I do is I just make sure that I have tomatoes that grow for as long as possible. So I, I allow things to grow in my garden that will have an extended period of harvest rather than having a big flush all at once. That's really good for production, but not necessarily for home gardens. So the ones that I find are the absolute best for this are things like the cherry tomatoes. Now, these cherry tomatoes have self-seeding in my garden for gosh, I don't know, years now. So I just watch where they're coming up really in a vigorous way, in a way that they look so healthy. And that becomes the spot where they focus their energy for this time. And you see, they're already starting here to flower. Now you'll, you'll read a lot about pinching tomatoes, staking tomatoes, you know, fussing around the tomatoes. Here, what I do is I let them just tumble in this space. Now in this space here, before I had, um, mustard spinach is growing they're just finishing now so that's good um i had some coriander that's just finishing and now coming up through this is the tomatoes so the tomatoes will take over this patch now the thing about the pinching pinch or not to pinch well the idea is that you take out the little bit in between this section here you pinch that out and apparently the, the idea of that is about helping the tomatoes to go tall and strong and create a, a trunk now if you're just letting them tumble what this actually does is it gives you more shoots which gives you more growing tips which gives you more flowers which gives you more fruit so if you're actually wanting to have a continuous supply of this sort of fractaling tomato plant in your garden giving you ongoing tomatoes over the weeks then this is actually a really good idea the key thing about it is that you're not going to get you know the massive big tomatoes these are small tomatoes but they're great for making sauces you can chop them up and put them on pizzas you can put them in your sandwiches and your salads you can toss them into soups and stews and however you use tomatoes or just walking around the garden which is actually how i often eat them is just popping them in my mouth now the other thing about this is that there's often talk about too, well, you've got to stake your tomatoes because otherwise they're going to fall on the, you know, rest on the ground and get rot. Well, what I do is I make sure that the, the bush is dense enough so that the tomatoes themselves just kind of rest a bit like this. And you'll find that they're not touching the ground because they're resting on the next branch. And, uh, and also you get something slightly covering it, which means that the birds don't get them. So that's the thing I found if I stake them as well, that I end up just creating a really nice sort of supermarket aisle of tomatoes for the birds. So this tumbling idea um, helps to keep the, um, the ground moister because you have this, um, it's like its own mulch. Uh, you're creating sort of an environment that keeps the tomatoes safe from the birds. You're getting more tomatoes. And I was talking before about how not allowing to touch the soil. Well, you don't see the soil ever in my garden anyway, because it's always covered with mulch. So as long as you have some kind of mulch uh, situation going on or some other kind of cover crop going on, the tomatoes aren't going to touch the ground and, and get the, the problems that are being talked about. So see if you can get some self-seeding tomatoes happening in your garden. And that's a really easy thing. Like they come out of your compost. Or you can just squirt a tomato in your ground and they'll come. They are the kind of the wild cousins of the tomato. So even if you have a normal sized tomato and you, you spread out and you're going, you'll find that eventually it'll come. Now, what I notice is that over the years, because they've naturalized in my garden, the plants get healthier, they get stronger, and the tomatoes are starting to get really nice and, um, and juicy juicier than they were when they first started when they were tiny so i guess it's this thing about trying to find out what is actually suited to your particular environment what is going to provide you with the longest supply of tomatoes in the easiest way possible and honestly it is such an easy plant to grow you know eventually it will start to either um, get some die back or be frosted back uh, and at that time, I just allow a certain number of the tomatoes to go back into the soil, um, the tomatoes, so that, that next season, when the time is right, they'll shoot 
up. Now, if you find a self-seeding tomato in your pathway or in a part of your garden you don't want it, before it gets too big, all you need to do is just kind of dig it out with some of the soil around it and relocate it. Or you can pop it into a pot and have it on your veranda. Uh, all sorts of things. You can have it as a hanging pot and allow it to dangle down and be um, getting them like that. But the key thing is that tomatoes need a good lot of sun um, and they do need enough moisture to grow and good compost to make them nice and sweet and, and healthy plants too. So I hope that helps. You know, really, it's just a lot of the things that I talk about in our permaculture life is finding the simplest possible way to grow the most abundance of food um, in a way that just kind of reads how nature is working rather than trying to control it so much. What's working in the most natural possible way and just kind of going with the flow. Uh, so join me next time. I'll, um, I'll have a few more tips coming up about things that are going on in the garden. So don't forget to subscribe and uh, click the little bell too for notifications. And also down below, I'll put a, a download. So check that out and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.